All right, long story short, I lost my phone and I locked out my own account because of two-step authentication. So while I was gone and trying to get a new phone, I was vlogging a little bit here and there and, you know, doing a little <sighs> So all these is a bunch of vlogs stacked together, just, you know what I'm saying, little vlogs, you know what I'm saying, chill little vibe today, chill little vibe today, and at the end is a very, very, very important announcement where city I'm going to next. So stay tuned and grab your popcorn. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to, to Miss Saga just now, but damn, it bad. Uh, American. See how that is. I have been to Miss Saga one time. That was a bad experience, bro. One time I went to Miss Saga, I was with the illegal immigrant. No, good, no. Costs like 40 bucks for one round of block, bro. That is no pun intended highway robbery, bro. But listen, like I was saying, me and the illegal immigrant went to Miss Saga. The reason we went to Miss Saga, we were about to see the you feel me. She wanted to go get her friend, so the friend lived in Branton. What the f is this dying, bro? Yeah, you can't stop me from filming. I really am that YouTuber who films everything he sees. Basically, the girl wanted to bring a friend. Some, <laughs> yo, some. Why you looking at me so seductively, man? Why you look so seductive, bro? You look like he trying to raise me up, bro. All right, so when we saw the girl, bro, she was just so fucking lame. Bro, I guess we going straight to Ooh. square one. Right next to the mall, bro. And y'all thugs still come here? <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. I know it's kind of vibey though. Check it. Being a YouTuber, it comes with a lot of challenges. I've actually experienced it myself firsthand. Trying to make engaging content that resonates with the viewers every week. It's a never ending cycle of brainstorming. Posting the video, will my folks love it, or a whole barrage of hate comments coming my way. Honestly, being on a public platform like YouTube, it's almost like having a constant microscope under you. And that exposure on a day-to-day -day basis, literally, y'all see everything I do. It's hard to maintain boundaries when your life is out there for the world to see. And then there's the whole creative aspect about YouTube, where you have to come up with new and innovative ideas consistently. I go through a lot of mental blocks that just leaves me frustrated and, and just annoyed. If you're dealing with any mental health issues, I just want to let you know, you're not alone. Therapy can be a great tool to help with it. That's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp is today's sponsor, and they offer over 30,000 licensed therapists who are very accessible and can help you with your needs that cater to you. Literally, whatever you need help with, 30,000. Do you know how big 30,000 is? Video chat, voice calls, texting, whatever makes you comfortable, BetterHelp provides start a path to a healthier and happier you. Visit BetterHelp.com and sign up right now. Use my little link in the description to get your first month free. You know what I'm saying? You know your boy couldn't hook you up with a little discount. You know what yeah, man. You'll be okay. 855. Like the mall about to close, but. Are you that YouTuber? What YouTuber? What are you saying? You saying? Why do you have a camera? I'm a star, bro. <laughs> Why does Subway look like that? Why Subway look so premium, bro? What do you want you say? To Say anything, bro. You said start the video, oh, bro. What you want to say, bro? All right, y'all right, go fuck with this YouTube video. You feel me? Come on, bro. Y'all fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? What what? What I'm say whatever you want to oh, say. Go fuck with my YouTube channel, I guess. Tight hey, shit, tight shit. shit. Word is boy, shot. Huh? Word is boy, shot. I'm LX4013. Kerwin Avenue. Yo, let me get the hell with you, bro. Bro, shut the f***, bro. Shut, shut up. Let me get the hell with you. Shut up, bro. Let me get the Bro, shut up, right, bro. You're bro. not serious, bro. What not the serious. Bro? You're not no, serious, bro. bro. No content, bro. Yo, yeah, bro. Can I go to the hood with you, though? Yeah, fam. Come to the hood. What the fuck? Go with your necklace, bro. You already know. Yeah. Bro, shut up. King Von, my nigga. Oh, it's you, bro. Hell yeah. Don't do that. So, we're not going to say C3. Oh, the fuck, man. This guy's popping. Keep doing your thing. Huh? Yeah, I'm doing YouTube, bro. What's up, bro? He's in. Where's the motion, hey, man? Right here, Boski. Okay, what you do? Oh, I see the watch. We wear it. <laughs> That's just real. Well, I, yo, I manifested this on my wrist. My word. Everybody got a Santos hoodie or a babe hoodie out here. This is my brother right here. Grrr. Come on, man. AP gang, nigga. Cheese. I'm saying we have square one with it. Watch, security on. Are they on date? Oh, they. Oh, 
up there. Up, up. Look at for a second. Some jit just had an AP, bro. Isn't the AP like uh 150k? And I'm back in Ontario, bro. I'm in Peterborough. Finally, bro. I'm, I'm back in Ontario, bro. Like I swear, being in my Quebec for so long, bro, it just makes you love Ontario. I was in Quebec for 24 hours. On the fourth hour, I was ready to leave. It's just a bunch of people saying, Savoir, du Lemon, Savoir. Like, it's such a disgusting language, bro. Like, who wants to listen to French for 24 hours? Bro, I failed every French class I was ever in, bro. All I know how to say is, come on, ça va. That's it, that's all you know. Yeah, that's really all I know. I'd honestly probably be able to survive that if it was Spanish. Like, even if I don't know how to understand Spanish or speak Spanish, it's at least entertaining to listen to people who speak Spanish. French is just a language like you do, like when you're trying to torture somebody, bro. Listening to French all day is like listening to a nigga just scratch the chalkboard on school, bro. But the illegal immigrant would tell me about this, bro. I don't got my wallet and I don't have my phone and my debit card. I lost everything, bro. I lost my ID. Probably sound like it got no energy bro that's just how i've been feeling recently you know what i'm saying but you feel me i usually talk like this like slurred but it is what it is bro people always be asking me why i'm in a city or something like like why did you go here why you go here bro probably because i read it my nizzle i remember when i went to burlington hella folks was asking me why i go to burlington literally at the start of the video i put the comments that said go to burlington bro i literally just be listening to the comments y'all just be complaining Bubba, right? who's Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm playing, it's bro. like obi-wan Bubba or something like that obi-wan Bubba is crazy where you going you excited Getting out of here. Growing up, man, I still see the little kid though. Like, he used to stick the middle finger up at me, <laughs> bro. Good seeing you, man. Yeah, that is crazy. That's my old friend's little brother, bro. I ain't seen him since he was a little ass like, kid, bro. Like, that's how I remember him. Proud of the kid, though, bro. Y'all don't even know it. That kid used to be a chubby little white kid, man. <laughs> you could pinch his cheek like this. <laughs> Woo! But one thing I learned people will always take what they want to get from something. Nice. You can say a million things and put one joke in those million things, and niggas are gonna leave with that one thing and take that as what they need to take away. I remember one time when I first started vlogging, I was I had a Samsung back in the day when I had a phone. Well, I can't give girls this phone because once they see in a green text, they block. Next day, me and the legal immigrant go to uh, a club. Literally, some girl on my, like right when I get on the club, bro, on my body. Right when I'm about to ask for a number. Hi, uh, can I uh, test something really quickly? Which one are you looking to try there? The Hugo Boss, magnetic. Are you able to spray it on my arms? Okay. All right, appreciate it. You're welcome. Yo, can you uh check if this cologne is good? I could. All right, bet. It's, yeah, it's good. What, <laughs> it's okay. You don't like it? What'd you rate it? One out of ten. Like a seven. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. I don't know, but like I was saying, right as I bring my phone out, like I did like a sleight of hand, like get my phone out, a legal immigrant like panics. He like grabs my arm. And I'm thinking like he seen a nigga with a gun or something. You know that nigga got like cartel like sense. He literally went out his way to get his phone and give it to me. I was like, what the heck are you doing, bro? He was like, bro, remember like the phone? Did they see the green message? I'm thinking like <laughs> most things I expect people to take it as a joke, bro. I guess like people take it serious. That's some W man sh though. You get the 50 Canada US plan. Chat. I just asked a random to smell my cologne and smell if it looks smell good. Then said not getting me going. I'm cooked. Not bad, but not good though. No. Okay. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, it's not bad. It has more of like a. I don't want to say girly, but like a... Oh, no. Nah. Like a fruity smell. Fru oh, that's... More like a fruity smell than a man, man. Bitch, just call me fruity? <laughs> oh, hell no. It's more of a fruity sensation. More of a zestier vibe, if you ask me. It does smell like a girl. Now that I'm smelling it, I smell like my mom. I, I ain't gonna lie, Hugo Boss. I don't get why people buy Hugo Boss anything. The designs are shit. Unless you just a Hugo Boss dick rider, you just getting it cause his name. I ain't never seen a good Hugo Boss piece. Respectfully. I told y'all I don't got a phone. Went on Google Marketplace. Y'all might be asking why'd you go on Google Marketplace to find a phone? Yeah, but right now I'm headed to Clarington. I had to get this new iPhone. <laughs> My fault. I had to get a new iPhone, my nigga. 
a replacement for the one I lost. Don't think I'm getting the iPhone 15. I'm getting the same one that I used to have at XR. Bro, my eye, I got that. F***ing. I don't get why they were, like apologize about how they look. Yo, I'm sorry I look crazy right now. Like I just got a bro, nigga. What the? F is this? Bro, I ain't trying to impress nobody. Come on, apologizing for it. This is how I look, bro. I don't try to impress nobody on this. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get a taper. I ain't gonna get nothing for nobody. If I look a certain way, bro, that's how I look. Or, you know, I don't get why people apologize when they cheat on their girl to the internet. Like, bro, why are you apologizing to the internet? Like, what do they have to do with anything? I probably look crazy right now. But shit, bro. Sometimes you gotta be low so that can dig yourself out of it, you know what I'm saying? I think you should be a better person for it. <laughs> Real spit. W Cliff Farm. W Cliff Farm? You know, I really appreciate y'all though in the comments, bro. I saw a nigga, he said he was proud of me. I looked at the comment, I was like, what? I had to scratch my eyes, made sure I saw that correctly, bro. said, I'm proud of you, gang. It really meant a lot, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Other than my partner and shit, you feel me? I never really had nobody say they was proud of me for it, bro. I don't think I heard that since I was in grade eight. I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody, honestly. Everybody in the Discord. Booby, Ronnie, Caesar, Pavel. Big Red. By the way, Big Red, how's uh summer school been, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm not even roasting you. Shout out Idaho. I don't wanna miss nobody. It's cause I don't have my phone right now. Sam, Viet. I thought that shit was just a TV show when niggas said I'm proud of you, bro. I never heard that. I don't really hear that often, so I appreciate it, bro. I ain't on no sappy ass shit. You feel me? But I'm just being honest. A lot of folks be saying like them, their favorite YouTuber, bro, bro. I'll just be thinking they're flagging, bro, because I don't think I did enough to be my favorite YouTuber yet. But I swear, when people be saying that shit, I think they're flagging. Like, what, bro? Real life crazy. Like, that's like a dream. Like, so I think I still got a long way to go. But the folks that say it, like, I really appreciate it. Follow the kid, bro, because we back streaming. Once we get this phone, we're back streaming. Boba Bubba, you ugly as shit. Laughing face. All I told her was, I'm wearing a yellow shirt and I'm a 6'5 black dude. A lot of sketchy shit on Facebook, bro. What I learned, bro, trust the white woman. Like, what do they have to, like, they're not gonna scam you, bro. They might, uh, take you of all their assets if you choose to marry them. But other than that, they won't scam you. I swear the white people would be the easiest to communicate with. Like, I was about to get the phone in Milton. Girl name was Ashlyn. Hella easy to talk to. I even got her to down the price, but. Manizo, she lives in Milton. At first, when I started DMing this person, literally I was asking her hella questions, cause you know what I'm saying, it's hella sketchy shit on Facebook Marketplace. But then you realize, long white woman with glasses, whose profile picture is her on ice with her family, doing this. Pardon? I was running a little late. Nah, you good, bro. Um, you can check the back of it too. You want the otter box, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry, it's such a trick. Where are you coming from? Peterborough. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. So that's quite the... Nah, it's all good, because I go to Toronto all the time, so... Are you going there now, then? Nah, I'm going back to oh, Peterborough. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I should have asked, and I could have met you maybe closer or something. Nah, that's all good, bro. Good. Well, any issues with it, just let me know. All right, man, appreciate it. All What's right, your name? I'm Sarah. Sarah, nice yeah, to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Have Take a great care. day. Nah, she really the definition of a real n This is the west end of Peterborough, though. <laughs> Hold on, I'm about to cut this creature real quick, though. Jake Paul. All right, announcement time. All right, hell of mosquitoes outside, but this is the only place with lighting. Hold on, there might be one more place. One second. We're gonna retry this shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, ski. Crash dummy business. Yes, sir. Can't forget the bad <laughs> Nigga, nigga, nigga. Bro, I done walked with this shit for so long, bro. This shit just dried up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Pizza don't even look that good no more. But it is good as f though. This the piece I was telling y'all that, my nigga, you should go to get this. Don't get a $20 pizza, get this. Brooklyn style pizza, you feel me? God, mm. Oh shit. Should this be the view or this? As y'all know, we have been going to city to city. And uh, you know, I've been having fun at these cities. Seeing new things, different sites, different women, different niggas, different personalities, different buckets. First of all, 10 out of 10. You can't mess this up, bro. 
I'm gonna say it. Y'all niggas in the comments and just in general will be gassing North of Brooklyn Stop Pizza. Literally the biggest dick riders of all time, bro. That shit is ass, bro. What actually do you guys see in it, bro? That nigga need to get your taste buds check. That shit is not hit, bro. I literally say this all the time, and y'all still comment. Bro, Northern Brooklyn style pizza is shit. Point blank period. I'm not gonna even talk about too much, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, shit. I'm giving that shit out for free. What the hell am I doing, bro? That's what I was saying, bro. I've been going to all these cities. I've been having a good time, bro. Seeing new things. But at some point, I can only ignore something so much, bro. Like these mosquitoes that are everywhere even though i've constantly countlessly roasted the city said i hated it said i never want to return there ever swore that i would never go back y'all still spam this city bro i'm gonna let y'all guess i'm gonna give y'all five seconds like dora go go on guess you probably got it my nigga Hamilton. Like, bro, I've never seen something so persistent, bro. Genuinely, bro. I've literally asked to be banned from the city, bro. And y'all still ask me to go. I don't get it, bro. But listen, it's not way too much time. In the month of August, I'm going to Hamilton. Yes. A Hamilton video will happen. All right? Y'all got it, bro. I'm going to act like I haven't been there three or four times. And every time I went, I said, F this place. It made me want to myself I'm, I'm gonna pretend that that shit never happened i'm gonna go back to hamilton bro fuck it what day am i going i don't know yet but i will announce it on my instagram so follow my instagram to know when i will be in hamilton bro I, i'm doing a mukbang uh can you give me like five minutes just five minutes that's it I understand. Just five more minutes and I'm, I'm out of your hair. All right. But yeah, bro. Y'all win. Y'all got it out of me, bro. I don't know how y'all did it, but y'all did it, bro. I'm going to pop out and y'all can show up when, if y'all want to show up. That nigga's kind of cool, though. He let me. He gave me five more minutes. Nigga saw the vision. It's 11 11. It's fitting because my wish finally came true. I hope y'all are happy, bro. Let's hope this isn't my last ever time ever going to that city, even though I hate it so much already.